Hey, welcome back to this Excel video. If you're thinking that I'm showing the same video again, you could be fooled. This is video 49's file. It was something that we did over a few different consecutive videos around building a training program. But in response to a couple of questions from viewers, I have added a little feature. And that feature is a little box that allows you to choose a selection of athletes and then print a program for each of those people and so that program will have um, obviously their name on the top and their 1RM loads converted into their program and so what we're going to look at today is the process to create that print box and so basically what's happening is that the code will choose a name on the list as a result these RM loads will update and then as a result these training loads will update and then it'll print it and then it'll choose another name and so on and so um, to walk through the process of this I guess we have to do two things the first one is to build a form the second one is to put the code on that form so either way we need to go to the developer tab which we're on already and click on Visual Basic. Now this is the completed file so I'll just walk you through it. First thing to look at is this form here on the left it says FRM that's a, um, I guess a prefix for form and I've called it print box wizard so if I double click here the print box that I've built opens up. To build this particular form is relatively easy in terms of making it look right that is simply clicking insert user form you then use this toolbox if it's not visible click on view toolbox for me it's already there I need to draw two list boxes and I need to draw some buttons on there so um, our form has six buttons I won't do all of those but um, you get the picture um, if you click on any one of these objects that I've just put on top of the form let's say this first list box here what we can see is that it's called list box one and it's got a bunch of properties underneath that you can edit to determine how big it is, how small it is and how it behaves. So it's those properties that are uh, worth getting to feel, um, getting a feel for, sorry, if you are going to be using these types of forms. And now I'm going to go back to my form, the one that's already done. Each one of these objects also has a little piece of code that helps tell it what to do and how to behave. The most significant piece of code is what to do when you click OK. Because when you click OK, it uses a list of athletes from this print list and does some, uh, I guess, special things such as choosing their name, updating their rep values, and then printing. So I'm going to double click on this button because if I double click on any one of these objects, it'll take us to the code that executes when you click the button. So double click and here we are. The sub is called, it's called a subroutine, it's got the abbreviation sub, it's called command selector OK click and basically what that means is that the button which is called command OK selector, what happens when you click it? So fairly self-explanatory once you look at those things. So it's going through a process where it initially deletes any previous list that may have existed. It then looks through the box on the right hand side of the form and any names that are in that box, it pastes to a part of the uh, control panel page starting in row 56, column 1, so that is A56 and then it loops through and pastes them all. So if I go there now, control panel, here we are, A56, so that is 56, 1. 
any names will be pasted to this list. And if the code is to be completely uh, taken apart, basically what it says is every time it sees a name, i increments. So initially i equals 0. So the first name gets pasted in cell 56 column 1. The next name gets pasted in 57 column 1 because i then becomes 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4 and so on. Once it's copied all the names, it closes the form. Then uh, you're now basically acting on the spreadsheet rather than on the form. It takes you to the control panel page. It finds out how many names have been pasted there. And then it runs through the sequence that we've explained earlier. It selects the name that's first on the list pastes it into the program page where the drop box is, which is K2, which is here. That then updates the formula. And just to make sure, I put this line in here, which says application calculate. And then this very, very simple command called printout prints to the d default printer. And now I've already set up my uh, page area, so that's something that's always important. Um, so if I click, this is the page area that I've set up, so it knows to just print the page area. And on my PC at my office, this works perfectly because it's just printing the uh, predefined page layout to the default printer. Now I appreciate that some people may not have that kind of structure. It may require a password for a printer or things like that or some kind of selection for a printer. But if you're connected to a printer, it'll choose the default. Now I haven't tested this on my Mac computer unfortunately because my Mac computer isn't networked, it's not connected up to any printers so I couldn't do the video on my Mac unfortunately. But anyhow, um, try it out and see what happens and if you can't get anywhere, um, Google is a wonderful resource for things like this. People will solve your problems for you if you add it to a message board. So anyhow, that's the code that runs when you click Command OK Select it. Now the other piece of code which is a little bit interesting is Initialize. And what the Initialize um, piece of code does is that when the form opens it I guess defines a little bit how it's going to behave and the first thing that's really important is that it loads the first box the list box on the left of the form with any names that are in list athletes now on my control panel page I have got a list of athletes and you can see that up in the name box, list athletes. Now if I change this, and I put my name in there, what we will find is when we click this button, the form opens up and suddenly my name is on the bottom there. So if you are looking to uh, reconfigure this file for your own purposes, that's something that's relatively important to get right. Get your list of names in a defined name range, mine's called list of athletes, and then when it opens it up, it adds all of the names to an initial list. Now I didn't write this code from scratch, there is a website which is called contextures.com and uh, it is an excellent website with some uh, ridiculously good code and spreadsheet examples. And I modified a file that they had there that was based on a spreadsheet rather than a user form but I was able to copy the code and do a little bit of editing to get it to work so um, visit that site and download the file if you want to and now the only other piece of code that you have to do is um, something that launches the form and so it's that because my form is called frm print box wizard 
all I have to do is type that and put show on the end, so dot show, and that's my macro. And when I'm setting up with my little icon here, I paste the icon on just like I'd paste a picture. I right click on it, assign macro, and I just choose that there, print box. So that's the only piece of code that doesn't live on the user form itself. That lives in a module. Now if you're a little bit confused by some of this VBA stuff, join the club. I have been working with this for quite a while and I still find it a little bit tough, but there are some amazing resources out there to get better at VBA, including a couple of amazing channels. One is called Excel VBA is Fun, and I'll put that little link up for you. Um, and they'll teach you how to do a bit better code than I ever will be able to. So what I want to do before I close this video is run through the code step by step and we can see what's happening. And so to do so, I'm just going to minimize the screen to less than full size. That way I can show the code window at the same time. Now if I click inside this code window, in the margin, what it does is it puts a breakpoint into the code. So the code will execute, it'll get to that point, and then it'll stop. And so that's really good if you're trying to demonstrate what's going on. So that's what I'm going to hope to do. Oops, excuse me. So I'm going to click the print box. I'm going to choose three names. If I decide I don't want a name, I can remove it and add a different one. That's what these four buttons are for. And I'm going to click OK. And the code stops. You can see that the line is yellow. That means that this is the line which is next in the queue. So as soon as I click F8, it will execute that line. And it will go to the next one. Now because we've got three names on the list, this little loop that I'm just about to enter now, it's going to go through three times. So let's see. One, two, three. So it's pasting those three names to the sheet. So we'll see Francis, Douglas and Dwight on the control panel page shortly. I'll just get rid of that form by advancing the code. So there's our three names that have been added. And because I don't want to actually print these sheets just yet, I'm just going to put an apostrophe in front of that line of code. That's the line that prints the page out. As soon as I do that it becomes green and that means it won't be executed. But what it will do is it'll run through the steps up to that point. So let's go over here. So we've got Francis, Douglas and Dwight. Let's keep an eye out for those. If I click F8 again it's going to suddenly loop through Starting with the first person, there's Francis, there's Douglas, and there's Dwight. And then it ends. So that's the code that we've run through, and um, a relatively simple process once you get the names into the spreadsheet. Now VBA could print without pasting them to the spreadsheet, but I put that line in there because that helps um, to understand what's actually happening. OK, I'm just going to stop. If I want to bring up the view that I had before, I click View, Project Explorer, and then Properties window. So in a second, I'm just going to uh, run through the whole process and print three or four of these programs out. But uh, I'll turn my volume off for that because I'll be sitting at my desk with lots of people around me and they'll think I'm strange if I'm talking to my computer. Um, so if you want a copy of this file, please email me. Um, I strongly suggest you visit Contextures and get the original file as well because that'll help and um, give this a go. Now there may be some unusual things that happen with your print settings um, because of how your computer's networked, but um, for most people this should work okay. Thanks for stopping by and hopefully this is adding just another little tweak to your impressive looking strength program developer.